next up now we have finished configuring Eclipse with the database we have finished the database uh, connection Eclipse and database next up let us take care of the hibernate now to install hibernate we had already seen that all you need to do is download these two zip files and unzip them that's the installation of hibernate now we need to configure Eclipse and Hibernate. Now how to configure Eclipse with Hibernate? To configure Eclipse with Hibernate I'm going to create something called as a user library. Now user library is nothing but like a folder uh, that I'm going to like create in Eclipse and to the user library I'm going to add a lot of these jar files all the Hibernate related jar files and then I'm going to add that user library to the projects in Eclipse. Now let's go and see what are the jar files we need to add so that we can create this user library. Now go back to Eclipse and in Eclipse to create the user library click on Windows right on top preferences and over here type something called user and select user libraries and now let us create a new user library click on this new and here you can give any name for this library it's basically a folder that I'm creating so that I can add all my jar files in Eclipse so I'm going to say hibernate 3.0 and then click OK now to this particular library like in our folder I'm going to add all the hibernate and derby related jar files so first is like I need to add the derby database related jar file so click on add jars and select derby client dot jar click open make sure that you keep selecting this hibernate 3.0 every time you add jars if your cursor is here you won't be able to add the jars so select hibernate 3.0 once again and then click on add jars now go up a level now you can go to this hibernate distribution folder and in the hibernate distribution folder select hibernate 3.jar click open hibernate 3.0 click on add jars again go to this um, library folder and in this required you may have to select all these jar files you may need to pause the video here and like you know just uh, follow me because I'll be a bit too fast in this adding the jar files so let me increase the size so that you can see where exactly the jar files are located now after adding that click on hibernate 3.0 click on add jars go back to lib and go to this byte code and go to cglib and add this particular jar file too. Once you have added the jar file, go to hibernate 3.0, click on add jars, go back to downloads and this time go to hibernate annotations and in the hibernate annotations folder select this hibernate annotations.jar add that go back to hibernate 3.0 add jars and in this now go to the lib folder and in the lib folder select this ejb3 persistence hibernate common annotations and click open I need a few more jar files and in the test and in the test folder we can add the sl4j log4j tool.jar and log4j.jar these two and click open so totally there will be um, 14 jar files so you can pause the video and then you can see where exactly they are located there are like 14 jar files and all of them are required maybe not for the first project but then as and when we go you'll notice that like 
those jar files are required okay now click on ok now we have added all the jar files now the next step after adding the jar files is create the connection that is we have created the user library called hibernate 3.0 now we need to integrate this user library with eclipse so that the hibernate and eclipse there will be a connection between these two so to integrate the user library with eclipse go back to your java perspective on the right hand side corner you can click here and then select like java ee or java whichever and you can go back to your project and in your project right click on the project and click on properties and once you click properties over here you can select java build path the third one from the top java build path select libraries and in this library we are going to add that user library so click on add library button right here and once you select add library select user library click next and it will show you the user library that you just created the hibernate 3.0 and then click finish the advantage of creating these user libraries and adding to the project is um, so that when you create another project you don't have to like sit and add all the jar files you don't have to go and search of those jar files you can simply like you know go here and add this particular user library so kind of a reusability so once you select that and click OK you should see that the hibernate 3.0 the library has been added and it has like you know the 14 jar files or like it added a few more from derby so you don't have to worry about this if you add derby client.jar it should have added all these other stuff okay this is like we have finished the connection between eclipse and hibernate next we have to do the configuration between database and hibernate to do the configuration between database and hibernate we need to use something called as an hibernate configuration file so to do that connection we need a hibernate.cfg.xml file that's the file which is going to help us make the connection between database and hibernate now for this hibernate.cfg.xml file instead of sitting and writing one um, it's, it's an xml file we can simply go and copy something which is existing uh, it comes with the download of this hibernate distribution if you go to this hibernate distribution in your downloads folder and if you go to projects every if you download it, it comes with like you know a few projects test projects let's go and copy one and then we will like you know uh, format it according to our needs and go to this tutorials and web and source and then you can go to this main and resources you may have to slow down the video to find out and see you can see that hibernate.cfg.xml and log4j properties file are there let's copy both of them we will customize it to our needs later on and right click on the source folder here in your eclipse once you copied it and click on paste this is someone else's uh, what you call configuration file we're just going to use this you can just take it from the downloads 